There are so many tender, precious things about having a newborn, but it's also very challenging to be the parent of a newborn baby. Often there are challenges that arise that parents weren't anticipating. Um, there's something called postpartum blues that about 80% of moms experience after having a baby. Um, during pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone are two hormones that play a very important role. And then after the baby and placenta are delivered, your um, hormone levels start to plummet. In addition, some women um, have lower thyroid levels after delivering their baby, and almost everyone experiences stress. And stress can affect our hormone levels. So, so these changes actually cause chemical changes in our brain that affect our mood and how we feel. The postpartum blues are what result from these hormone changes, and you're very normal if you feel sad, you cry for no reason, you feel a little bit anxious, depressed, lonely. Um, if you're just a little bit shocked by it all and wonder what you've gotten yourself into, that's all normal. And these effects are most pronounced five days after delivery till about two weeks, but it should subside by about six weeks. And this is the first time that you'll likely see your doctor. They'll check you to make sure everything's healed well, and they'll also ask you about how you're feeling emotionally. Take this opportunity to talk with your doctor about how you're feeling, thoughts that you've had. They'll help you decide what's normal for your circumstances and what might warrant further investigation. Postpartum depression affects about 15% of women, and this can onset any time during the first year of a baby's life. So it could just be the symptoms of postpartum blues that last longer. It could be that you were fine in the beginning, and then three to six months down the road, you start to withdraw from people. You don't like things you used to like. Um, you have obsessive compulsive tendencies, panic attacks. All of these things can be related to postpartum depression. So talk with your doctor if you're struggling. They'll ask you more specific questions and decide what treatment is right for you. And usually treatment involves medication and or therapy. Sometimes both are necessary and used in combination. Women can start to feel like themselves again. It's important to remember that dads aren't immune to this too, just because they don't have all of the changing hormones that a woman has after delivery. Studies have actually shown that there are slight hormone changes in a man after a baby's born as well. And 8% of fathers struggle with depression in the first three months of their baby's life. And down the road, by six to 12 months of age, 10% of fathers struggle with depression. So it's actually more common for them further down the road. There's a lot of different pressures that are on you as new parents, and you can be each other's best ally or worst enemy through the adjustment phase. Talk with each other about your feelings. Do what you can to help and support one another. Keep in mind that things that will put you at higher risk for postpartum depression include depression or anxiety before or during pregnancy, um, marital problems, financial problems, and big life changes like a job change or a move at the same time you've had a baby. So avoid those changes at the same time as having a baby if possible. Because postpartum affects about 15% of women, line up all of your friends that you know that have ever had a baby and chances are a lot more of them have struggled with it than you know. We just don't go around with a sign on our foreheads that say, I have postpartum depression. So if you struggle with it, it adds to feelings of guilt and inadequacy because you feel like everyone else who's having babies is perfectly happy and that it's all bliss and butterflies. But that's not true. And if you are struggling with postpartum depression, there's help out there. And start by talking with your doctor. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.